In this video, I just want to go quickly over the NHS activity packet and what needs what important information needs to go where for filling it in correctly. So first off, make sure that you correctly circle whether you are a sophomore, a junior, or a senior. Now, if you have never been a part of National Honor Society, if you've never attended any meetings, you would be a new member. That is, nothing has ever been done with you involving NHS yet. If you are a provisional, then what that means is that you are currently a provisional member. That is, you have taken part in NHS activities, but you are not a full-on active member yet. You haven't stood up in the induction ceremony and taken the oath. And in so doing, having received the NHS membership card and pin. So if you haven't done that, then that's what you currently are. But if you have been a part of the induction ceremony and have speak, taken the oath, received your uh, membership card and pin, then you would circle active. Now the next thing is, uh, please note that the due dates will vary based on the year that you see this. So the year, so right now, this form says March 6th, but depending on the year, uh, you want to uh, verify with your NHS advisor what the actual due date is. Now here we accept three different types of activities, either co-curricular, those are the activities that go on within Alleman, community activities, those are activities that go on outside of Alleman, and then work experience, whatever jobs you hold. Now, if you are a sophomore, then you need to fill in at least three of these. If you're a junior, at least four. If you're a senior, at least five. We don't have the time to go through 15 activities if you have them. We just want to see that you are involved in these activities. But we are asking for a little more information. We want to know, okay, what is the club organization activity or what is your job title? Now your supervisor, whoever is in charge of you, we need a phone number or an email address. Now this is far more important for someone who is outside of Alleman, who is not a staff member or a teacher because we need to be able to verify this information. And so this, we will not spam them, we will not give out their email, but we need to know this so that if we need to follow up with them, we need to get into contact with them because without that, then this activity doesn't count. We need this information. Now, next line. We need to be able to know who this person is. And unfortunately, most people's signatures are not legible. And so we need you to print your supervisor's name so that we know, okay, when this person, he or she signs it, we know who this, who their name is. And then we need to know what the date the activity began because the faculty council may have a hard time granting you this activity if it began on February of the same year in which you're applying. They probably won't go for that. And then over in the corner, you need to circle a one, a two, or a three, whether it's a co-curricular activity here at Alleman, a community activity outside of Alleman or a work experience. Now at the bottom, at the bottom here you have to fill in what your leadership position is if you have one. Now juniors and seniors are required to have one. Sophomores, you do not have to have one, but you want to be aware of that for next year. And so what is the organization? What is your position? And then what is uh, and with the signature of your moderator. The definition of a leadership position is that you are directly in charge of other people. Now on the back side, here is where you describe to us how, in your opinion, you demonstrate character, leadership, and service. And you see the criteria that the teachers will judge you on for character, leadership, and service. Now, please note that it says 250 printed words maximum. Because of the number of applications, every person's can't be more than one page. So that means what we're saying is this is the space you have to work with. So unlike English assignments where you often feel like you have to write more than what you need, here you're actually, we're forcing you to keep it small. Keep it to this. So our recommendation is, is that you type it out or write it out ahead of time on a separate piece of paper. And then once you're confident with what you want to say, then put that here. Because the only thing that will be accepted is this one sheet of paper. No extra typed out words, no supplemental sheets, just this. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can email your NHS moderator and he or she will answer those questions for you. Thanks.